Well, I have the mercury sitting on just on 10 degrees. It's what now, 10 past 7 in the morning and we've got a bit of a southwester blowing, so everything's fairly cool. The reason why I put this thermometer here is for the native bees, to see what temperature the native bees come out. It's also made me interested in seeing when the European bees come out. Now we're looking at this 10 degrees centigrade, so we'll have a look at the European bees. There was a lot more activity there about 20 minutes ago, but however, as you can see, they're coming out and taken off. Nowhere near as much as they would have, you know, when the weather's nice and warm. But there are bees coming out and flying. Depends on when you have a look at them. If you, if you came out right now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that they weren't going out. But they were leaving, you know, ages ago when I went back inside and got the camera and made myself a cuppa, there's a lot more activity then. I read on the internet where they reckon that the bees can't fly under 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, doing a quick conversion on the internet, 12.77. These aren't frightened to go to work in the cold. This is our Hawking's eye. Now, they're not even at the entrance. I'll just go right inside there. You can't even see them right. They are being 10 degrees. They're not even sitting inside the entrance there. Like, when it's about 19 degrees, they'll be sitting at the entrance, just inside, just with all their heads there, just waiting for the temperature to get to the right temperature for them to come out. But now that it's 10 degrees, they're way inside. They're not even in the hole, if you know what I mean. Uh, these are the Carbonaria. Same deal, 10 degrees, not even a bee at the entrance. They're way inside. Yeah. Now there's a bee returning and she's got pollen on her legs. Another bee returning. And I'll get her out of the flight path and I'll zoom in on it. And I'll just sit here and hold it and wait for the bees to come back. And uh, One just returned then. Yeah, the bee's leaving. Yeah, one returned home, another one returned. So I don't know how long it takes for them to get their pollen and nectar, but they're returning home at 10 degrees. So I don't know what temperature it was when they left and how long it, yeah, so how long it takes for them to get their, to get, reach their destination and fill up and come back. Bit more activity now. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe there might not be a, a full-on activity until it gets to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, but the bees certainly look, they're starting to go out pretty rapidly now. Uh, just that before. We're going to see what temperature it is. Oh, yeah, they're well and truly working. So I think what happens is when the bees return home with a load of honey, they do their little dance and then that probably inspires other bees to go out. So look, yeah, they're well and truly taken off now. Oh, look at that. I'm just... Well, well... I'm just gonna... Before I go back and finish my cuppa, I'll see what temperature it is. There you go, look at that. 10 degrees. That's close enough to 10 degrees for me. Well, there it is. 10 degrees Celsius equals 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So all that information online that tells you that the bees won't fly under 55 degrees Fahrenheit are wrong. I've proven that the bees will fly at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It may be even slightly less than that. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye.